Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. I was invited to a tournament uh, by Gwent France. Um, I played against uh, Osmondeus. I think that's how I say, I say his name. Um, great player. He's one of the um, people that help out at Gwent France. Um, the tournament setup is a little bit weird, and they actually had to change it after our games because. The way they had it set up, you would win a game, and the winner would keep his deck. The loser had to change his deck. So, you would play the games. If you win, you keep that deck. The loser would change, but it never locked out any factions. So, you brought four decks, but you could still um, play this deck again. So... He banned... I banned Northern Realms. I know he plays um, Bloody Baron, so I, I banned Northern Realms. And he, I believe he banned Nilfgaard, which I was okay with. So he had a lot of answers for my opening plays. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. I'm hoping to get a couple ticks out of this Dragoon. This is my last laugh list. Um, I really like this list. Um, almost as much as the Triss list. Check in my graveyard, see if I got anything I can res. I figured, well, I could hopefully ping this down with the panther. Because hopefully he'll only play one unit here. And he passed, which was really great. Um, I got to save my panther for some of his big answers. Uh, I have Siri Nova in hand. I have double panther. So of course war dancer is a thing. Um, so far too, he's only played one of everything. So I'll let you figure that part out. <laughs> So I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm up 26. Do I keep playing? I'm hoping to get uh, Tor Reveal. And I actually goof here. I Oh no, I, I, I have something to res. A sword to outshine all others. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. So this is a pretty huge swing. I mean, I'm up 50 points. And then I figured, well, this is where I call it quits. I'm going to lose 12, but I'm still up a boatload. I mean... I'm checking to see if there's any type of answer I could draw. If that if that was up to seven, I could have res the So I let it go off. I'm still up forty three points. Coexistence fly off. This was brutal though. I maybe should have played the panther, the last panther. But I decided to pass here. I'm thinking, well, he's got to at least play two cards. So I could be even. I think he gets to create. 
He gets Brienne. So I'm, I'm like, okay, this ain't too bad. He's still got to come up with another 17. Should be easily doable with the leader. Me not playing around pyrotechnicians. <laughs> So we got even cards. I have my leader left with the Scorch. He's got uh, the stone left, so I'm, I'm okay with keeping Agalus. And I throw away the um, Panther, which I'm like, oh, you know, well, I should be good. You know, this this seems all right. He gets the card draw with shoot. Rip me. <laughs> um, so I play Agalus for the stone. I maybe should have waited. Because I drew all big answers. I probably should have took Brienne. But I took Dennis Kramer. He has a Panther. And I'm like, oh my god. I'm checking to see what I should res, and I'm thinking I should just res the uh, the Barclay. The customer is king. Never had your kneecaps broken. Yeah, I should have took the Brienne on that uh, that create. So I'm thinking, well, I could lightning down the uh, the eight, but I was like, well, I'll just I'll play Ethne for um, Humans have reconnaissance. No I thought I had lightning. I didn't though. So not too bad, but he's up a card, which really stinks. My Scorch really never found a home. That was a good play there. So I figured, well, if he's going to have the answer, he's going to have the answer. I'm just going to play it. Because I'm probably going to be using Shiru for artifact or uh, epidemic for a four-point play, <laughs> five-point play, five-point play. So he had Shiru. 
I ended up blocking out my own Scorch right there. I would have been okay if I wouldn't have uh, Artifact Compression that. But I only have five points. He's only losing one. When the white frost comes, do not eat the yellow. Double tremors. We would have tied if I'd have picked Brienne, I think. I'm trying to figure out where the messages are. So we're into the next game. Uh, he has to keep the Shoop list. So I know I'm playing against Shoop. And I bring my Dagon list. Um, my, uh, the Striga Happy list. Notice I have no Death Wish units in hand. <laughs> I have the... Oh, there we go. Um, the Shadow card, number four. Show me the coin or shot off. And this is why you play Striga. Alright, so there's 13. I'm thinking to myself, well, I need to stay up. So I'll play the, the Marloon. Oh no, I actually, yeah, I get the value. I want to get my Foglets out of the deck first. That's what I end up doing. Then I can use the Forktail to eat the Wolves. Wow. Yeah, I, I get the foglets out first. I've had bad luck against. If if, if you don't thin with this list, you're in big trouble. So he gets he gets the stone. The stone's gonna pull. The horn, that's right. I didn't like the way that was looking, so I just killed it. And I'm like, don't pass, because <laughs> I want to get these harpies out. So he passes, unfortunately. So the only way I could get out the harpies now is by eating the griffins. There's one though, so we can get rid of it. Not bad. <clears throat> I have Siri Nova on demand, so I'm figuring I can I can bleed like crazy here. I have a griffin. I can use the eat the griffin to, Let's enjoy the weather to use it for Slyzard. Pretty good play there. I figured I need to get this out, hopefully, before it dies. It took a minute on it, though. I forgot about that. But I still have to play the the Dows in I have to play him one to activate my Bruis. I 
I didn't even see what he did there. Oh, he artifact my Dow, that's right. And I'm like, what happened? I, I clicked so fast, I didn't know what happened there. Um, so I think I played the Rod Fiend. Just so that my Brewis wasn't dead. So I'm gonna eat the the Dow and the the Griffin. I eat the Rot Fiend. I should eat the Griffin. Really, it was the same amount of points. I figured I should lock this. And then I'm hoping, well... He needs 17 here. If he can't pass me here. A sword to outshine all this is my chance to pass. Only death here for Dwan. Blood and neck ends. Similian Vat. One point off. I'm like, okay, cool. I can get the one card. I can play Siri Nova last. As long as he doesn't have shoot. So this time we have the card advantage. We're going into the last round with a killer hand. I'm able to summon a Dao. And a Rod Fiend. And I can actually eat an... Um... Actually, no, I had to get rid of... I didn't want to draw the Harpy, though. I, I can eat the other Rot Fiend. With the... With the uh, da da da, the she troll. The spy was pretty brutal for him. So I thought, well, I could just activate the Dow one time by playing the Slyzard. I'm out of Epidemic range because of the Brewis. I end up eating the, the Rot Fiend. So 34 to 7. I'm feeling pretty good. I still got a buffed Siri Nova coming out when I need it. I forget what he plays here. Oh, that's right. Outlaw. So he gets a full value outlaw out of it. Not bad. I got the Slyzard. And I should be able to use it on for a griffin. I'm like, it doesn't matter where I play this. I end up picking the fork tail. He had Shoop again, though, man. He's not playing uh, Francesca, and he drew Shoop twice. And he gets the card draw. 
So I'm thinking even if this is Shiru, he can't win. Shiro doesn't do it. Nope. Got him. So it's one to one. I have to keep the Death Wish deck. He has to change. I really like this Death Wish deck. And he switches to a Rock as Queen, which sucks because I have Striga in my deck. And of course, right off the bat, I have two Foglets and a Harpy in my hand. And once again, no Death Wish units. <laughs> I have the Marloon to draw one, but if he Artifact Impressions it, I'm in for a really, really bad time. He has the Neckers. So I just lock it right off the bat. I'm like, I don't want nothing to do with this. If he makes copies of it, you know, nothing I can do about it. So I fog it out. He's got brands. I got. I just need this Dow to live. I'm like, please live. <laughs> I I got gas in my hand if it lives, and it does. Two Griffins. I mean, if he wants to push this around, I can I can go toe to toe with him for sure. These Griffins are massive plays. He keeps eating though, and he keeps making Neckers. So he's got a total of nine Neckers in his deck. Nine. Bruis. I forget what he plays with this. Or Wispus. I didn't understand that play. I, I know he wanted it to live, but... I'm thinking he has Bruis as well. Now I'm I'm thinking to myself, what's more points, the uh, the Griffins or the Dow? I go with the Griffins just to get him out of my deck. I, I'm still going to be stuck with one Foglet. Seventy-eight points to forty-one, but his Neckers are growing, and he has nine of them. So I'm thinking to myself, I think I need a I need a short round. So I gotta I gotta push again with Siri Nova. Of course I draw the Foglet. Osril's got some decent targets. My problem, I only have one Death Wish unit. I only drew one. So I had to get that one out, so next turn my, uh, what's it called, it's not dead. So he has Caretaker, I forget what he steals here. Oh, that's right, he steals my, his own Necker, and I'm like, oh no, here comes the pain train. That was brutal right there. It was. So I'm thinking, oh God. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. The 
the way I'm looking at it, though, I'm like, I, I have to push it. I have to. I'm able to eat that big necker out of the graveyard at least. So if he was going with Slyzards, his Slyzards were dead. He gets another one out. He still has seven in the graveyard. Six. Now he has four. Four Neckers left. I'm still thinking. I'm like, oh god. I eat this in the Dow. Goes with the carryover. I said screw it. <laughs> I'm gonna fork tail it with the Cyclops. It's a losing play, but I think he ended up having another one. No, he has the brand. So I kill the Vran too. So I'm thinking, what does he have in his... He's got to have uh, Bruis in his hand. Fifty-three. I'm out. And I'm hoping to draw like uh, Monster's Nest or Siri Nova. She Troll might be okay. Anything but that Foglet. I risked it here, I think. Yeah, and I draw Monster's Nest. He's still got a gang of Foglets in his deck. And he's able to draw two of them with Bruis. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. So I'm probably going, for, I'm thinking Ghoul. But first I gotta get my stuff out. And I only have one Dow. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I need his last play to be a pretty weak play. The ghoul is only my graveyard though. I keep looking in his graveyard. I always do that. I think I just picked a Barbagazi. I mean it's a solid play. He has double fork tail though. I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> 18, 19 toast. Okay. So game three. He's up uh, two to one. They never said I couldn't go back to this list. So I go back to this list. Because I'm thinking, alright, it's got artifact compression. It's got... All kinds of stuff to wreak havoc on the the Neckers. Got business for me. So I start out with the smuggler. Smuggler's not too bad. There's the Necker. Nope. We're just gonna take it out. And he passes. 
I'm trying to think how can I I can get up I can win the round with uh, Panther doesn't do it this doesn't do it I think the only thing that does it is Bruver but I pass anyways I'm like, well, if he passes, I could just play the the Elven Scout and possibly get some carryover. Didn't draw Aller in there, which is really nice. Because I'm thinking he wants a long round. He's just going to pass. But he goes with the try to get tries to get the carry over. Panther comes through clutch. So if I would have took the round, he would have just I'm thinking, well, do I do it that way? I'm like, yeah. I have to. So I artifact impression it. If he's got one more though, I have no more answers. Well, I have the necker. Or the I could possibly draw a panther. I said, alright, well he's gonna make it a long round. We're gonna we're gonna get some some value out of these dragoons. He's got to make copies of Vran's because he has no more Neckers. He has one more, but he's eating Vran's with Vran's. I'm like, okay, this is looking real good. I said, you know what? Let's just play the spy. And I'll take an Ida. So I'm currently up two cards. He's up 20, but... I just thought to myself, alright, well let's, uh... Let's just get this smuggler out here. So we can just keep going. We, gotta, we just gotta keep going, keep going. Thirty-six point ran to eat another ran. <laughs> um, I think this uh, this one I added it, yeah, to take out that brand. Why have you summoned me? I should be able to t if he passes here. I should be able to take it with the Elven Scout. He used two of his Necker Warriors already. I think he plays another one. He just keeps going. I'm like, okay, well. Let's see what we can get with the Scout. I think I just picked the 10. I did not. <laughs> oh, I moved it. That's right. I didn't want it to eat no more. That's right. We get Aleron, we jump up. Still up a card. He fork tails. I can't play the smuggler. I'm thinking to myself, well, I should probably play Barclay. Barclay is a good play. Because Satori is still... Alive. We're getting crazy value off of the Dragoons. We're up by 18. It's got to pass. So we're a card up. We got Siri Nova.
playing the spy was huge. And we got Scorch. We're good. I think right off the bat, I just play the the half elves. I, I thought it was his turn for a minute. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait. Blue coin, my turn. So a pretty decent half elf, fifteen points. Phoenix comes down into Slizard, into Varan. Not too bad. Still can't scorch. The customer is king. I end up playing Ada, just in case there was like some Necker shenanigans that could happen. So there's our Scorch. What do you want? He plays his last card. GG. So it's two to two. Last game. <laughs> it's Axeman. I think it's Axeman. So I don't have my Mercs in hand, which kind of sucks. I do have two Elven Scouts. I also don't have any answers. I'm thinking Harold, Axeman. I don't have any of my answers right now. And he open passes on me. You should not have come here. Didn't really matter what I picked. I maybe could have took the Swordsmith. Just for a Hattori target, maybe later on. And with Skellige... I shouldn't have mulliganed that. But I was like, if I stack too much with Axeman, I'm in trouble. Um, I figured, well, let's get the thin out. Let's enjoy the weather while we Reconnaissance. I take the smuggler. Got business for me. I got clear skies if he has... Um, Berna. Once I see the Ulderic, I know... <laughs> He's got Berna. He is here. So I said, okay. I'm uh I'm gonna play my own spy. We were not the ones to start this war. I take the Dragoon. I get an extra tick off of my uh smuggler. He has a dead skull, which was kind of odd here. Um, Peace with humans. Playing around White Frost. That play right there, though, um, I'm thinking to myself, man, a dead skull. I'm thinking, what does he have in his hand? Um... He messaged me there in the corner. I think he said, he, I forgot that I didn't have a... You stand before the queen of he, f he forgot something. I'm like, okay. So he's going to res there. And I'm like, all right, well, let's get this... Uh... The time of the white frost and white let's get this off the board. And what I should have did there is maybe played the... Uh, the Ada in front of it so they could die. 
possibly res it with a Tori, and then Ragnarug comes down. I'm like, oh god. I played Humans Ethne no for reconnaissance. I make a mistake there and take that because now my Barclay is dead if I... If I do pull Barclay, I'm like, oh no. I, j I realize it afterwards. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. He's got the ships. He's got Darren in the bank. I'm like... Let me play one more card. Slaughter them to a man. Try and get some extra value out of the uh, Dragoons. He's got an Axeman. I said, I, I, this is this is time for me to... Oh no, I, I go for the... I go for the lock or the... Tour reveal, and I get the tour reveal, but no, I picked clear skies. That's right, which is a huge heal here. Huge. Isengrim Outlaw is a clutch card, by the way. And Alarin comes back. I'm like, okay. I'm still getting a ton of value out of these these cards. You know what I mean? They're still ticking. I'm still getting two a turn. He still hasn't played Darren. I have n nothing for Agalus currently. And I'm like, well, let's just kill the boat. The panther might be dead later on. We survived Skellige Storm. We survived Ragnarug. I'm thinking he's going to play another one of them. This was a great play here. Six points. I said, all right, let's play one more card. Try and get some carryover. And we get it. I'm like, yes. Play it on the back row. Was an Igni there, but... Drought comes down. I'm out. I'm looking to see if there's anything else I could pull. I'm just thinking this is my time to, to get out of here. I still got one more reconnaissance. I actually play one more card. Wow. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah, I play the skirmisher, and I'm like, I just made my Barclays dead. That was a bad play there. Sixty-seven. I'm like, well, there goes my carryover. He's got to play one more card. That sucks. He would have played it anyways and, and killed it, so. I just really need to get Artifact Compression. I need Artifact Compression or Siri Nova. Or Shiru. Even Shiru would be okay. So I pass. I'm still getting all this ping off of my Dragoon. But it's all going on Agalus and I, he has no spells except Lacerate. I'm like, this isn't doing me any good. <laughs> Agalus is super bad against Skellige. So we're on even cards. I do have an, a uh, 15 strength... Uh, I actually drop Agalus. 13 points and I'm just...
kick into his side, but I draw artifact impression. I'm like, okay. Because I'm figuring, well, he's got to have a whale. A whaler, yeah, a whale harpooner. I'm like, okay. So, I think I res. I probably should have waited. I'm like, wait, I gotta wait. So I play the, the half elf hunter. You annoy me. Because I'm thinking, well, if he has. Darren, or a way to res Darren, I gotta be able to kill it. I play the half elf hunter. Down two. I'm like, oh no. What's this last card? And then I see it, I'm like, okay. I'm like, wait, let me add this up. Let me actually math for once. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, it's it's good. I said I got to play it no matter what, so I'll play the card. Play Ada. Ida. Into Lightning. He loses eight. GG. So I win... Uh, three to two. Good games by him, man. Uh, thanks for... I also, too, and thank you for inviting me to the tournament. I, uh... There's so many... Good players, you know, that... You know, I'm, I was just like, yeah, I'll do it. Sure, no problem. But, uh... Yeah, I play uh, again next week. I play against uh, a Shizzle. Um, Skellige, Maine. Um, the games were already played. No spoilers, but, uh... I'll have those up next week. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, next week, uh, like I said, another tournament game. Probably I'll put it up either Thursday or Friday. But uh, like always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.